more sobering when you learn that this is the number of addicts dying every few days in our country. We want everybody to wake up and be aware. This epidemic is not over. Debbie Nadler says she didn't know much about the opioid epidemic until her son became one of its victims. Brett was a straight A student. She said he didn't think he'd be the type to dabble with drugs. I was like, how many pills are you taking? And he said 30 a day. I almost dropped to my knees. Even though Debbie tried to get Brett help, he still OD. That's when she joined with another mom to put together a program to raise awareness about the opioid crisis and the resources available to help families of addicts. It's, it's really hard as a parent because you don't know where to go and what to do. No one teaches you. You can't ask your friends. They don't know. They say the autopsy results released yesterday that show Angel's pitcher Tyler Skaggs died from a combination of drugs and alcohol underscores just how prevalent this problem is and that anyone can be vulnerable. And even though his family was saying he didn't do drugs, it sounded to me, I was I just wasn't surprised, unfortunately. But they hope through programs like this, they can bring the issue out into the open and prevent other families from suffering the way they have. You know what, if we can save one life from this, then we've done our job. During this event, there was Narcan training, how to use it to prevent overdoses. These moms say one of their next goals is to make Narcan more widely available. In Rancho Park, Tina Patel, KCOM News. Well, drivers in the